What's up guys, I'm going to review what Tess Bag eats in a day. It's been requested a few times. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. I am going to be vlogging She looks super today. emaciated and anemic. This crazy time we are all experiencing. I hope you're keeping well and safe and healthy. Um, so I'm just going to show you <laughs> what I do today, what I eat and get up to, and maybe a little workout if I do it. Um, but first things first, I'm going to make a juice because I need something refreshing. Okay. I can already see the problem. I guess that that's a cucumber. No problem, why not? It's hydrating. But then you add ginger to it, which is extremely toxic. You toxify your whole body. Then you go through detox because ginger is so toxic and then you feel like, what, you got healthier? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Carrots have carrot toxins. From what I can see, cucumber is the only good ingredient. Firstly, just want to mention that a juice is not replacing a meal. It is a supplement in my diet. I love having them. They are refreshing, make me feel energized and really great. That's all cool, premium. but you also got to realize that all of the ingredients are man-made. Exactly. None of those plants yeah, exist in nature, those vegetables. It's just like a Nutrient or the fruit, cucumbers, also different. Um, if you like, um, I know people like get a weird about. Nobody juice, would juice a natural you carrot. You would almost well, die from it because of how toxic it is. Fiber, the carrot toxin is way more concentrated. Soluble fiber remains, and you're getting all these nutrients. So, um, if you are worried about the lack of fiber in just like one drink out of your day, and you're not getting enough fiber from that, um, for me personally, I get. Like what nutrients do you get from it? Name it's any. Fiber. <laughs> so fiber deficiency or like lack of fiber is not a problem. There's no such thing as fiber deficiency. It's not something you want in your diet. It's indigestible plants. I swear I add so much ginger and it's still not fiery enough. But this is good. I have a video You're about crazy. I've been using their juicer for the past two years. Um, I'll have a little discount code for you guys. You can also see bad under eye circles. I don't know if they're covered up a little bit, but it's easy to see through. 1.5 meters distance apart, blah, blah, blah. Like social distancing. Um, I mean, my, God, you my look exhausted is kinda from just talking. I really hang around a lot of people. Um, I'm home a lot anyways. <laughs> What's the point of showing these long exercises? It's just the most boring thing you could possibly do in a video. You could show it once. Okay, that's it. Why show the repetition? She literally has no so-called booty. <laughs> what is she working on? That's what I thought. But she only does it. What is this? This is <laughs> weird. <laughs> Must be some delusion. I thought this is a joke, but wow! Some really weird stuff. I've never seen it before. <laughs> Could have done more reps and rounds, but. I'm hungry for breakfast, so I'm gonna eat breakfast. Some banana, raspberries, mango, pure acai, coconut water, protein powder. It was important to add that it's vegan protein, of course. That's of course cooler, that's hip. Before she had a bunch of sugar with toxins in juice form, now she has that in a smoothie sludge form. And of course some granola. It's just incredible amounts of sugar, wow. It's just a one-way ticket to diabetes, as I've said before. And granola is just phytic acid and other anti-nutrients. There's totally no point in eating it. Fiber, which will constipate you, ruin your digestion. 
it's designed by nature to destroy your gut. It's not something that humans should eat. It's completely man-made food. You're never going to find anything like this in nature. Just to think of it, buying some package imported from somewhere, wherever, then getting it and eating some man-made forms, the granola, of completely man-made grains, seeds, it makes no sense at all to put it in your body. It's just complete delusion. And why would you put it in your mouth? It makes no sense. <laughs> they just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, chia seeds, fake omegas, of course. Strobs, that's how the cool kids say it. Just more anti-nutrients, just super sludge, and that's a lot of sludge and sugar. This almond butter, oh my god. Oh, wow, so good. The granola oh. is from my ebook, Oh Sweet Vegan. It's so delicious. Chocolate cranberry granola, super crunchy. Wow. Make some, a late, a late lunch. Um, it's like 5 p.m. or something. I'm gonna make potato nachos. So there must have been a mess in the bathroom nice after. Do a really nice topping. Um, I did this on my Instagram live. Onion powder is extremely toxic. Salt is a rock and also more onion, garlic. I would have liked to have left them in a bit longer, but I'm hungry. It's interesting, everything she added in the pan was extremely toxic. Literally every ingredient, everything she put in there. And of course she cooks it to death and that's why it's not as toxic anymore in the end. But you just gotta think about it. Why would you add ingredients, all of which have toxins? <laughs> you could eat meat, eggs, and so on, they have no toxins whatsoever. Everything you add has toxins. It just makes no sense at all to eat it. Spinach, oxalates, this stuff also is just cooked to death. The brown crust is carcinogenic. You're trying to imitate cooked meat. It's super obvious. And then the black bean mix. It just looks like meat imitations, blood. You're tricking your natural senses. Some pre-cooked quinoa, which is always so handy. All mental illness. Also, sorry about the lighting. I just don't feel like having a billion lights on right now. I just want to sit in the dark. <laughs> just having a little snack, coconut yogurt. Okay, so for dinner, I have cooked up some tofu, broccoli, and pastry. Okay, again, the ingredients. Yeah, essentially, it's all toxic. Really? <laughs> okay, some of it may not be exactly toxic by definition, such as maple syrup, but it is because it's just extracted sugar. It's not something you should consume in huge quantities. She eats quite a lot of food at once because she's so starving. You can see that she's not getting what she wants because her face and everything is super emaciated. She's eating herself. That's what happens when you're vegan for a longer time. Of course, it happens right away. You go into starvation, but you don't notice it. What I mean by a longer time is that after a while, you notice it, and that's why you start eating higher quantities of food. You make these recipes, all kinds of red stuff, something to trick your sense into thinking that it's meat, adding all of these spices, trying to get something savory, anything that doesn't look like plants, because that's the last thing you want. Then, of course, for the video, you had some green leaves just to make people think oh yeah i'm vegan i'm eating green leaves 
Well, that's what you should be eating if you really liked eating plants. That's what animals that eat mostly plants eat, right? They enjoy that. You don't at all. If you eat them, then you eat them with other stuff. You just put stuff on it to try to cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> Rice, which is super handy. rice is just sugar and the tofu is to imitate meat it's actually very tasty you look very sick she looks extremely sick the eyes alone it's just absolute mental illness if you look at her and don't see that you're looking at somebody who has a severe eating disorder and by that i don't mean that she's vegan and she also has an eating disorder. Veganism itself is an eating disorder. We naturally want to eat meat. For the most part, that's all that humans want. Vegans have been brainwashed to believe that uh, it's animal cruelty, blah, blah, blah. Everything that goes against nature, that it's unhealthy, even though it's the healthiest thing we could possibly eat and so on. Just completely wrong in every way. And then, of course, they don't eat meat, but then they try to imitate it because their natural senses tell them, I want meat. <laughs> That's why they buy fake meat, and if not, then they try to imitate the texture and everything that has to do with it. That's what you just saw, and that's why she looks the way she looks. She wants meat, but she's not eating it because of the religion. That's why she looks like she's dying. I would really think, if I saw her in the intensive care, then... I would think that she belongs there, totally. Just imagine that. You wouldn't think, oh wow, she looks so healthy. No, you would, <laughs> of course, think, wow, she looks super unhealthy. Something's really wrong with her. Of course, anybody. It, it, it makes no sense. <laughs> and of course, she's staying at home like a good slave. Oh no, you can't go to the beach because uh, what? What's gonna happen? If you go to the beach, nothing. You're completely blindly following man-made rules. Whatever, another topic, but uh, it's just typical. You're a sheep by following veganism, and then you're a sheep, of course, by doing that also. Bravo! It's very important to understand that plants don't have over 50 nutrients. It's not as if you can just ignore your natural senses, not eat meat, and be fine. I'll just imitate it, I'll eat some Beyond Meat and whatever, and I'll just be fine, because meat is all about taste, right? We eat animals because of taste, right? That's why all animals, lions, tigers, whatever, they eat meat because they like the taste, right? It's not as if that's how they get strong and healthy, no. They just like the taste. That's the same logic. <laughs> why would any animal eat other animals? They eat it. Because it's their natural diet, they need it, they like it, that's why you like it. Why would you like it and think about it as a vegan? It's because your body is telling you to eat it. If you don't, then you will always crave it. You will have never-ending cravings for meat. This is why you will always try to imitate it. It's just an absolutely miserable life. Thanks for watching.